before this video gets started, I just wanted to bring some attention to my haunted house shell challenge that I'm currently hosting over on my Twitter. So I will have everything linked in the description. It's a whole thread with the rules and everything included. So be sure to check it out and participate. Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all having a great day. So today I am doing yet another collab with a fellow SimTuber who goes by the name of April Dark or April's Corner. They built this beautiful modern house. I was blown away when I took this off the gallery to furnish it because that's my side of the collab, which you will see in this tour video. But I just like wanted to get this lovely shot of this build before we get up close because just look at how beautiful it is. The landscaping, the terrain use is just, it blows my mind and I am so honored that I was able to furnish a build like this. So without further ado, let's get into the tour. So I'm gonna take you guys up this flight of stairs first and we will check out this beautiful gazebo, which actually overlooks the pond. I want it to kind of reflect like relaxing, like just nice outdoor vibes. Like if it's, you know, a beautiful summer night, you can come out here, sit, chill. You got your citronella candles so that no mosquitoes can come. And then obviously this Build is also perfect if you are a creative sim because I included an easel in case you wanted to get just a little bit creative. And it also, just where I put it in Willow Creek, like you could paint so many beautiful different things. So I figured that would be a good spot for an easel. And it's also good for your sim for just skill building in general. So I also put a ton of fairy lights up. So if we come up here, I'll start at the top and then we'll go down to the main part. But there is a doorway here and I struggled to furnish this top part for a little bit because I just wasn't sure how to properly go about it. But I figured out that I would just do the bed, like one bedroom house and take everything from there. So it's just a very simple modern style bedroom. They have candles, just a couple of items, very minimalist type of house too, I would say. There's the bed and the cute little nightstand. And then of course, curtains for privacy. And then if we come out here, this has to be my favorite part of the whole build that I furnished, I guess, landscaped, if you want to call it. But this is the little open window zen garden so it's not even really open window it's just straight up open and i had originally put the bedroom in here not realizing that this was literally just an open area so instead i decided to do a zen garden so over here you have like your little meditation stool with just some plants to surround you as you meditate you have some pots if you want to grow like herbs or anything like that a yoga mat which kind of goes along with the beautiful white and black vibes of the plants. Just some planters from Eco Lifestyle. And I actually took these little um, like stick wood panels and kind of created almost like a, a vine growing wall. Eco Lifestyle came with a lot of good plants, which obviously makes sense considering it's Eco Lifestyle. So I haven't found a use for this wall art yet with the plants so I figured uh, it could kind of look nice here and then I never am able to use this beautiful succulent wall so I'm using it and then in this tiny little room that I had added on is the bathroom so you have just a very simple sleek bathroom black and white a lot of the stuff is black and white because when I think modern, that's what I think of, is black and white. Now if we go back down the stairs, we'll go out to the front door. All right, so it's very open plan until you get to the kitchen. So basically over here at the front door, oh, <laughs> okay. So that's different. <laughs> I swear to you guys, when I was building or not building because she built the house when I was furnishing this house the mailbox was not anywhere to be found in build mode not even while I was building this house so it must have just randomly spawned itself in here I'll have to move that so please ignore the mailbox there's always something chaotic 
in any of my build videos. Anyway, if we ignore the mailbox, I put a thermostat just because I feel like it's an essential thing for any Sims household to have. And then this beautiful, um, uh, what would you call that? A hutch? Like a little hallway hutch that you could just hang your stuff up at from Seasons, I believe. Seasons had a lot of really nice swatches that I could have used for this build. And then over here, these two rooms were just like little added rectangles and I had no clue what to do with them because they're kind of small and I didn't want to put a bathroom in either of them because of all of the crazy open window space just felt like it wasn't very private so I said okay well I don't usually put chess tables in my build but I figured okay this could be like another skill building room or something so they have like a little private chess area over here is the living room which I had a lot of fun styling very simple artwork and uh for some reason I guess because I'm in the fall spirit I wanted to display fall cards on their little hallway table which I'm using as almost like a tv stand and I used a lot of machino stuff just because that also really fits the whole modern sleek vibe for me and I felt like this corner was lacking so I put the little machino end table and put a little stereo on top of it and then over here is just another kind of not so private because it's open plan but just a nice little relaxing space you have your modern fireplace with a beautiful ship statue that i have never used before so i was like why not use it now and the eco lifestyle chairs go really really well with anything in this build and of course I had to use the tiny living plant photos. I use those, I feel like, in everything. Over here, in front of these large windows, you have your modern dining room area. So I used, again, tiny living lighting. And then over here I wanted to do somewhat of my own type of centerpiece. So I took just the little leaf center piece thing that goes on top of like the tables as like a table run from seasons used the green swatch and then put the little like zen rock plant thing and mixed it in there as well because i just thought that that would make it a little bit different and nice over here in this corner i felt the need to do the moshino stuff pack bookcase and inside the bookcase you will see that there are the tiny living bookends and then this modern looking statue lady at the bottom there because I had no idea what to put at the bottom and I said that looks modern. As you can see I'm not that experienced in building very modern looking builds so. And then in here is probably my favorite kitchen that I've ever done to be honest with you. It just looks so clean and so cool with all the different blacks, whites, and grays. I am a really big fan of the color gray as you can probably tell from my furniture in the background and my walls basically this kitchen started out a like tannish color and then I said you know what let's just stick to black and white because I thought it would be really cool to include the brick that was on the outside of the build and kind of make it look like they kept the brick and didn't put any type of different wall over it. And then it went really well with, I believe, this wallpaper, this um, marble tile from Spa Day, I think it's from. And then just some white basic walls. But I wanted to do a different shaped island than I'm used to. So I went with this shape and I just love these stools, which I think are from Spa Day as well. So Spa Day has a lot of really cool items that you could use for modern builds too. And then in here, just another tiny room that I didn't know necessarily what to use it for. So I decided this area needed a office space, just a nice desk to look out on all the people. And I forgot to include curtains. But let's just pretend that like whoever lives here has curtains that they can then just shut for privacy. But I just thought this would be a nice little area to do some work in. Besides the mailbox being in the middle of the build, which was totally not intended and didn't show up until after the fact, 
I am so happy with how I ended up furnishing it, but I am so satisfied with the look of this house. I would totally love to live here. It's so green and vibrant and full of life. And April did a super great job. I'm really happy I got to collab with them. They are awesome, super sweet. And I hope you guys give them some love over on their channel and definitely give them lots of likes and see how this build came to be. And I hope you guys enjoyed my little furniture house tour. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed this house tour and comment down below what your favorite room is. Would you live in a house like this? I think I definitely would, especially with that beautiful little yoga centerpiece in the middle of the upstairs. And be sure to hit that subscribe button for more awesome collabs in the future. And also hit the bell notification button. This way you guys are always notified as soon as I make a post. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!